Hey everybody, it's Neil and I'm super excited to be back with you again. Every time I said I was super excited before, this is like 10 times more because it's Damage 2. It's finally out. We've been waiting for it. You guys have been waiting for it. We have spent nearly 10 years since Damage 1 came out. If you look at November 2011, that's nine years. We were working on it a year and a half before that's 10 years. And we wanted to get it right. We wanted to make sure this was everything Damage 1 was and more. So we brought in two truckloads of massive drums and percussion into Skywalker Sound. We had 84 mics on the sound stage. That's like the most Skywalkers ever had set up for a session. We spent a huge amount of time creating unique ensemble pairings out of this giant percussion arsenal. Check out this crazy enormous Grand Casa. We mixed it with four others for a mega bass drum ensemble. We bashed on rock kick drums with mallets, did snare ensembles with a wide variation of snare types. We had 70s classic rock toms, orchestral tom ensembles. Then we rolled in the big ethnic heavy hitters and recorded massive taiko ensembles, awesome Chinese toms, and we did very eclectic ethnic ensembles that had an amazing character depth and tone to it. We hit all these drums so hard for seven days, it was almost painful, but they sounded like cannons. Dave built a bunch of custom stands for us to mount our found sound percussion. Trash cans, buckets, plastic bins, and our very own scoring dumpster that we could hit with crowbars, wrenches, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And of course, there's tons of hybrid and damage elements created with Heaviosity's face-melting sound design. These sounds are brutally crushing. You're gonna love them. And with this new Damage 2 engine, we built this insane MIDI performance feature that allows you to quickly create the most realistic swells, crescendos, and rolls we've ever heard come out of a virtual instrument. All in all, we think this is the biggest, most punchy and diverse collection of percussion elements we've ever heard, and we really hope you guys think so too. So needless to say, for Damage 2, everything had to be bigger, so we set out to capture deeper drums, deeper sampled drums, more variation, deeper engines, just more of what Damage was on 10, or even 11. So we have three different engines. We have an ensemble designer, which we'll go through in this demo walkthrough. We have a kit designer and we have a loop designer and each of those designer engines is specifically tailored towards the content that's in them. Why don't we just get right to it? Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna stop it right there and we're gonna check out section one. This starts off with this really cool sound and it's a preset called Ambient Beasts and it's in the Ensemble Designer, so. What is that? That's a solo gong right here in blue. It's a 30 inch and it's an effect. I can't see very well anymore, but it says, whale and i took the pitch and i attached a controller and then boom 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 move my controller knob and i was able to modulate the pitch to bend it down to make it sound creepier Just some cool effectual stuff. And this is a snapshot that you can find in All Star Presets. The Ambient Beasts. Right here. All right, so excited, we have to move on. What is next? Let's uh, take a look at some of the rhythmic stuff. All right, 
what's going on here? These cool little rhythmic things going on. Ticking away sixteenths. And hey, wouldn't you know it? You thought they were sticks, but they're PVC pipes. That's how we do it with damage two. And then these big hits on the bottom. What are they? That tells me it's a monster low war drum. Deeply sampled round robin goodness. All right, and the lead into that. That is the low bass blast. And this is Armageddon 2. Armageddon 2, we had Armageddon 1 in damage, and we had to make another Armageddon 2 that was better, and this is better. It's awesome. All right, so that's what's going on here. It gets busier later. We'll cover that in a few. All right, why don't we just jump to the symbols? This is called symbolism. Just ticking away some time, right? All sorts of stuff in this preset. Oh yes, the gong. That's a 32 inch. First one was a 40. 36. Some rattle effects on the gong. There are so many sounds, it would take me all day just to go through them. So we don't have that kind of time today. We're just going to do the demo walkthrough. So I need to hurry up. Okay, it flourishes. This is another really cool snapshot that we made for you. And let's see what that's all about. Cool. It sounds like a roll. The beauty of this is that this is in the engine. Check it out. See the performance section here? I shut it off. I just get Solo Grand Casa. It's a 70 inch. The thing is enormous. Sounds like hell is coming. If you put the performance on, it's on repeat, and I have it set to 30 second notes and nine of them. So this whole thing, it flourishes, is play on flourishes. Grand cast 32. Sneers and that one's set to 16th. You can choose whatever you want for the subdivision and the amount of notes that you want. 30 seconds. It's really sounds pretty legit. Those are some sticks and there's randomization of time and velocity. And that's just repeating. It's great for a quick sketch if you want to go in and really get micro with your performance. You can do that, but this is a really cool. You get the idea. Good stuff. All right, next up in the track is called Fear of the Dark. Classic heaviosity. scary all right what do we got here looks like a grand casa 70 incher scrape and it's pretty wet if you go to the effect settings you're gonna see delay and you're gonna see reverb and all the settings are down here click on delay you see all the settings cover all that in another video all right, so let's put together these elements so far to hear what they sound like together. We'll start when the groove starts. So at nine. 
Another flourish. Let's toss an ambient beasts. I forgot that. And while we're at it, we'll do World Traveler, which is a very cool preset of good ethnic world drums. Cool. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. So I'm doing that with kind of the world drum snapshot. Let's take a look at that. So world traveler already ready for you and waiting in all star presets. World traveler and the 18 or the 36 above it means there's 18 sounds in it. So let's take a look at this soloed and you can hear what's going on. Again. We got frame drums, tumbex, darbukas, and some uh, mid tycos. And each one of these drums, you have control over every parameter. High and low tone, if you want to brighten it up, push the bottom, you can make it louder in the mix. And that's completely independent of your master effects where you have punish and all of these other possibilities that can be reordered. EQ or punish, compression, saturation, decay, I mean delay, if I could read, and uh, reverb, right? Okay, so let's jump back to this. All right, so if we play all those pieces together along with, let's go toss in the sub palette. So we're getting into the next section, but before we do that, we should check out the rest of the parts, right? So the last remaining one is this damage hit. Yes, we had damage hits. We had them in the first one. We got to have them in the second one. Would you expect any? Whoa, that just punched me in the face. Just how I like it. All right, so I wrote volume data because I wanted to not hear the impact, but I wanted to use the tail. All right, so let's listen to only the ensemble designer. the second section is I'm still just using on the ensemble designer um, we'll touch on this and then I'll show you the rest of the intro with the loop designer and the kit designer so what do we got we got pulis puli sticks puli puli I'm not sure I think it's puli uh, they're very cool almost like a brush, like, um, sounds metallic, but it's, I believe it's wood 
and um, somebody will tell me that I'm wrong, and they might be correct in doing so, but uh, I love the sound of them, and they're very cool for rhythmic kind of ticky-tacky stuff. So on the stage, let's check out what they're doing. Yep, hard left and right and wet. So if I were to pull one of these forward, it gets a lot drier, right? It's like so. So I pushed them all the way to the back, left and right, for a nice stereo pan. What was happening here is this monster... Yes, you're going to like this. Ensemble Low Tyco. So satisfying. So this is part of another snapshot, which is called Monster Ensembles. Just the low Tyco in that ensemble. Boom. All right, so let's check out the kit designer. That's pretty punchy. So that is um, just a really impactful kick and snare. Uh, the name of the snapshot is called Bonham Thunder Sizzle. And then I wrote my name after it in my specific case because I changed stuff and I saved it into my user folder, which is right here. Um, so if you go into hybrid, you'll find Bonham Thunder Sizzle and you too can check that kit out. Um, there isn't much else in the intro that's going on with the kit designer. So let's jump down to the loop designer. So we've got an effect. And it's coming. Cool. All right, so let's play this whole section. go to section two where it starts to get a little more angry and aggressive and there's more stuff going on so if we go back to the armageddon ensemble what is going on here monster low war drums the vibe and we've got a couple other drums in there too all toms with sticks this is an awesome awesome snapshot Toms. And then up here are the sticks and the rims. And there are your PVC pipes from the intro. And up here, these. So much to cover. So excited. We must move on. All right, so let's go to World Traveler in this section. It looks busy, but I'm not sure.
Yep. Just kind of ticking away with the pulleys there. And if you go to... Oh yeah. Another ensemble designer. Monster Ensembles menu. And in this one, there's a ton of different drums, but I chose to use the large Tyco. So... Uh, symbolism, just some crashes. Got to check out the damage hits because these are in full bloom. Thank you. So I actually took these and I wanted them to be accent hits. So if you look at the decay, on this one, I didn't use it. You get the full tail. All right, so there you see the decay is pulled back. Little uh, predator, anyone? They're all in there. Cool, so here, let's play them. That sounds like a vocal, but it's not. All right, let's just check out the other stuff in the section. So we'll do the kit designer. Here we go. So again, I'm using this Bonham Thunder Sizzle gives a really nice punch and then a preset called the heaviest of metals and I just chose so if you put MIDI follow on I'll show you the pad and in the kit there's 16 sounds and each sound can have its own everything there's a four slot effects chain so you can put any of these effects on there you know per drum So this, the center drum here on G sharp one has a delay and a shorter delay on F sharp one. So the pattern is cool. So along with the ensemble designer, that Rory sound. Let's check it out. This is a cool trick that Dave came up with. I must give credit where credit is due. So I took this sound from the loops. It's basically just part of a loop that is completely damaged and destroyed. So if you go to the master effects, uh, I guess it's time to mention the punish knob. We've got three different flavors. Gently now, it's kind of a joke, um, but it's it's cool, it's punchy. Hurt Me Plenty is more distorted. And then Nightmare is just, it's a nightmare. 
in a good way. And then if you go to the loop page, if you look over here under stutter, there's 8, 16, 32, 64. So that's what I did. I used the stutter feature with a lot of distortion to make a kind of rip roaring. What is that sound? Let's hear it again. broken loose other things are taken over here and what are they it's a break so let's go into this we haven't checked it out this is called transitions right and this is in our ensemble designer so let's open it up I believe it's on MIDI channel 11 and it's called if you hit the little camera icon thus the word snapshot get it pretty funny here we go okay pretty dry so those are like reverses into the beat. You put in a damage hit, you'll get the... That's satisfying. We add in the sub. And then we add in ambient beasts. And that again is that gong moan. Almost sounds like a vocal when you first hear it. If we back up a little further and just listen to the ensemble designer in this section. So, We've covered most of the stuff in here. You can hear the world traveler kind of ethnic world percussion, just giving a little do 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 time. And then if we go down to the loops. So we have like kind of a war drum vibe going on with the loops here. And I believe it is this down here, which is a hybrid loop. That's what it is. And we've got some hurt me plenty on it. So it's, it's, uh, it's pretty hot and heavy. I should quickly explain to you in the damage to loop designer, we have loops by categories. So if you go to factory, you're going to see straight loops, right? And we've got all-star loops, which is our team putting together stuff that we thought you guys would really like, really quick to go to and just start playing with things. Organic cinematic, full breakout, one, two, and three. We have the full loop and then just the low, mid, and high. And then same thing for hybrid, which is a little more damagey, and then full-on damaged. So this loop happens to be a hybrid cinematic. And there's other stuff going on in the loop designer here. So what is that all about? That is a nice chunky loop. It's called four ton shoe lots of delay so that kind of comes into the picture and then this was kind of an effecty thing 
And again, this is that modifier key that I showed you before. And you can see I'm using stutter, and this is the trigger for stutter. Cool. All right, so that's that whole section. Let's go to the next one. So the break kind of releases into the beginning of the end, and it gets really aggressive. So here I wanted to show you the power of the kit designer. So if we go to bar 34, you're going to hear this bottom thunder sizzle kit. And I'm just using side sticks to accentuate the snare. If we go down to this greatly destroyed kit, which we haven't seen yet. That has like that Metasonics. Uh, Metasonics is a modular synthesizer and it's got awesome distortion. So you have this. I love that. So anything kind of goes with the kit presets that we made. On the bottom, I think these are damage hits. see right here trash compactor fuzz stomp plastic deeds all right so i digress excuse me that's what's going on with the kit designer and then if we go down to the loops that's where the real supercharged energy is coming from let's play that So the, uh, the loop designer is not lacking in punch you in the face or melt your effing face off, which we said for damage one, if you ever watched that video a long time ago. We designed damage to melt your face off. So let's play this section. There are some things going on in the ensemble designer. Um, we can check those out, but let's hear what we got. punch all right so let's check out the end we got a sub hit and it looks like we have an ambient beast kind of a cymbal rip let's see exactly what that is i don't have these memorized it's a it's a gong scrape a 32 inch gong scrape a solo gong 40 inches an effect yeah so that's all adding to the soup and the drama and the excitement and the building you know the kits are clunking away on the second half it's all loops really driving not all but a lot and there are the damage hits so the second half of the end damage hits Yeah, so if you want to 
knock your teeth out, uh, the damage hits will do that. And I switched away from using the kit designer in the first section of the end to the damage hits really providing that kind of kick and snare, even though it's not a snare. Um, it just gets really beefy. So here it is. So that's the piece. We can take a listen from the beginning, but before I do that, I need some coffee. Okay. One more. All right, here we go. Ready? That's my demo. It's called To Hell and Back. And it kind of is To Hell and Back in the sense that I wanted to use everything that I could to make a super aggressive demo to show you that Damage 2 is everything that you are hoping for, that we were hoping for, in punch and aggression, but also finesse and a deeply sampled huge set of drums and percussion. And there's all the stuff that we did with sound design that I barely talked about with the damage hits and damage kits, junkyard stuff, it's all in there. Hopefully you guys got a sense of what you can do with damage too. Um, I showed you the ensemble designer, the kit designer, and the loop designer, and there is so much more in those three designers that I didn't even use or touch upon. If you want to get deeper in tweaking and making your own presets, there's a whole source page where you can literally make your own presets, drag in one sound or a bank of sounds, and it's it's super deep, and we're really proud of it. And again, I hope you guys enjoy it and check it out. And I wanna thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe and go to heaviosity.com. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching and take care. The end, it's over. That's it. You can go home now.